Hi there, Aerosaurs. Welcome into your reading. So, uh, I asked you in a couple of readings before what you wanted to see next, uh, if you had any specific questions or anything, and you guys didn't really mention anything specific, so I brought out my bowl of questions, and we have here for you. What do your past lovers think of you? So, this could be past lovers, or it could be past lovers, you know? But we're just gonna see what everyone thinks of you <laughs> when it comes to people that you used to connect with uh, romantically or sexually, okay? So, let's start here with this. What do you... Aries Taurus, I was going to say Paul 3s. What? Maybe there is a reading, a pick a card that you need to see in Paul 3. Um, ooh, it would actually be interesting, like in the recommendeds of YouTube, if there was like one, one pick a card, it, it doesn't even have to be mine, but like a pick a card that calls to you, choose Paul number 3 and see what happens. But, <laughs> that would be so funny. Uh, but, what do Aries Taurus, past lovers, think of them oh okay honestly um there's a sense of pride oh this is actually really sweet what the heck uh there's a sense of pride because i feel like they see you free they see you thriving they see you like you are finally able to set yourself free from something and now you're in this place of peace you're into new beginnings that really make you happy and i feel like they they're so happy for you. Like, oh, okay, so this actually turned out to be such a sweet reading. Because they're really happy for you. Like, they really are. This could obviously be, like, a specific person. Especially if you had a specific person in mind. Um, but they think you're so happy. And they think, like, they're truly, like, I just feel so much joy. And so much, like, oh, man, yay! <laughs> like, yeah, I love you. Yes, that is it. You know? Um, there is someone here. And I don't, I'm not even getting, like, love, love. You know, I, I'm, I'm just getting love you know because if th this is a past lover you know um and i do feel like it is a past relationship and there is this feeling of this person still of course having a lot of care for you a lot of um understanding and just a lot of sweetness towards you and care and just kindness um and they're truly joyful that you are doing good you know they see you like even with that crown over there on the black cat they see you surrounded by so much good luck but more than anything they see you like stepping into your dream life, stepping into your throne, stepping into the life that you've always wanted. Um, they also, perhaps you have someone very intuitive with these psychic abilities. Maybe there is even something that you said that you were going to make happen. Something that you said that would happen in your life. That, you know, no matter what, that was going to happen. And this person was like, wow, that actually did happen. What the heck? Congrats, dude. Um, because I feel like it is something positive. I feel like it is something good, you know. Um, they also see you very powerful. They see you like a leader. And especially, gosh, I feel like this deck is, in the, well, the table is so loud. Um, but with this, with these butterflies over here, they see you truly transforming and becoming your best version. This is so sweet. Ooh. Okay, so we have death. Yeah, talking about transformation. We have death. We have the hierophant. Maybe someone here thinks that you're already in a commitment with someone else, with someone new. Or at least, you know, that's kind of what they believe that you deserve. It's like you deserve to be in a commitment with someone beautiful. Um, and with someone that is able to give you what you truly deserve, you know, to treat you like this empress. Um, there is also someone here that is owning to their faults um, with this devil. And it's like, now I see how I failed, how I failed you specifically. Um... But I feel like they're really understanding how they could have done better. And the thing is, I don't know if it makes you happy to hear that, but um, they they are actually working on those things. Like they are aware of those. And I, I don't I don't think that the past lover that is coming through is someone toxic. To be honest, um, if if you dealt with someone toxic, that person is not coming up right now. Okay, I feel like these this devil right here is just someone that you know maybe they. We're really stubborn when you were together. Maybe they didn't really know how to love you specifically. Maybe you were really young and you didn't know what love was. And this person is like, you know what? I was so, I, I had to learn a lot. And I even feel like there's this gratitude that it's like, I was able to learn with you. I was able to grow with you. And so there was a lot of appreciation for you um, and gratitude for having met you and a lot of empowerment from their side as well. This, I feel like could also be them and the way they see you, right? Um, is that you have grown and maybe there was something that you weren't really finding a balance in 
uh, with all of this earth energy could be that your tour side was really big and significant or not enough um it's like your your tour size w was out of balance it was either too much to focus on career to focus on luxuries to focus on um the beauty of things maybe the way the relationship would portray out to the world or you, the way you would show out to the world and not so much in being creative having passion um not so much in being impulsive being spontaneous uh or the other way around maybe you were too spontaneous and too um passionate and maybe there was a little bit of lack of consistency of action oriented uh that kind of thing and i feel like they, they see you finding that balance they see you also career-wise they see you successful they see you really thriving again surrounded by so much good luck but in the end i really feel like this person thinks or they know if you are already in a new relationship um they're really happy for you they really are or again at least this is something they wish for you they wish that you find someone beautiful that can treat you right um but yeah okay this is oh gosh this is so sweet um what do aries taurus past lovers think of them have soulmate okay to be honest there could still be someone here with feelings um but there we go with the heartbeat um this talks about endings so i really feel like this person is sad that they perhaps were too controlling and they didn't really know how to appreciate you better or how to appreciate the connection better but again i really feel like they're making progress when it comes to that um uh, again this could also be about you and how you know they see that they see that the ending was the best for the two of you because now you were able to grow and to become someone new. Now you're able to really step into your power and respect yourself, respect others, uh, not feel like you're being controlled, not feel like you're being... pressured, something around those lines. Um, and we also have this soulmate in travel. So you could actually... Uh, be, at, be at a distance from this person right now. Maybe you, you've moved recently or, or they moved. And I feel like this would be you. Like if you've moved uh, recently or since you were with this person, um, they're really proud of you. Because I feel like, you know, they, they, they really see you thriving. And I, I feel like it is a specific person here for some reason. They really do see you thriving. Uh, and again, the connection is still there, you know, the connection is still there, and they just truly wish you the best. What are these person's feelings towards Aries Taurus? We have the star, the moon, and the knight of swords. So I see this, we do have the queen of cups. So again, there is love, there is also a lot of holding back. Wow, queen and king of cups. In some way, they kind of feel like you are each other's person, okay? We have here, by the way, um, a strong Taurus energy, we have a Libra. But this is how they see you uh scorpio over here which this would be them we have aquarius pisces cancer water signs in general pisces cancer scorpio and gemini so uh air and water signs all right um in regards to what they feel for you i do feel like they they do still feel this connection with you they do feel the love i just get this feeling of I've healed. So I'm kind of getting perhaps like I've moved on. But at the same time with this Knight of Swords, it does make me think that I feel like this could be something that they are trying to convince themselves. Because with this Knight of Swords, it's giving me this vibe of, but if you call me and say that you want me back, I'm going to be running towards you. You know, just just give me a call and I'll be there. Uh, so I kind of feel like, especially with the moon, it's like they're they're hiding their feelings from themselves even. So I feel like they're wanting to have this feeling of, I've moved on, I just wish you the best, like, I'm really proud of you. Yeah, Eric Stores, you're the shit. But if you call them and you say that you want them back, they're going to be there. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah. And in case you're wondering, I don't think this person has someone new. Okay, uh, is there any other past lover that wants to come through? Goodness, apparently. <laughs> we have the Three of Wands, Page of Pentacles. So this is someone, um, 
possibly the most recent X or Passover, something around those lines. I feel like it was short and sweet. Um, a lot of good communication. Maybe you're still in communication with this person. They are most likely younger than you, or they are. They could be studying or starting a new project. Um, I feel like they're. I, I feel like this person is really sweet, actually. But they. Maybe there was some feeling of like projecting and maybe insecurities around money. Because again, I don't. I don't see this person too established financially. So I feel like they are either studying or starting a business or something around those lines. Um, but this person could be at a distance. Okay, and I feel like they see you very honest. They see you very honest. Um, so also, uh, very oriented, like driven. That's kind of what I'm getting. And they also see you as someone very wealthy. Uh, this other person, the Aquarius um, or air water sign that we were talking before, uh, they really, I feel like that is the person, possibly they you had a longer relationship with this person and they see truly your growth. And I feel like this was a longer one, like um, a previous one, really far back, something around those lines. Um, and I even wonder if with this person here, if this, if this was just a like lover, sexual lover, uh, like a fling or something casual, something around those lines, because if it really feels like it was like really short lived, um, whether this first person that we talked about, I really feel like you were in a long commitment with them, that kind of thing, possibly really long time ago. Um, and they, they really see that transformation. They really do. Um, so what about this younger, more recent person? How, anything about their feelings? Anything you want to tell us? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they kind of want you back. Five of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, they're caught up on you. They, they miss you a lot. And they would love, <laughs> everyone apparently wants a reconciliation with you. I kind of feel like this other person, they're more like, yeah, like, I just, I, I've moved on. I'm totally good. I'm totally okay. Um, this more fresh person, maybe it is really fresh and really recent. Um, this energy of the past, right? This energy of, like, when you broke up, it could have been, uh, or when you went your separate ways, it could have been like really recently um and i kind of feel like they're they're still very attracted to you that is for sure but i really feel like their heart is still with you their inner child feels really safe with you um but they feel left out in the cold so yeah okay anything else you want to tell us anything else we need to know Uh, with this Wheel of Fortune, I'm getting your karmic cycles are over. And I just saw 13, um, which, if I'm not wrong, is the death card, which is all about transformation and change. So I really feel like you have broken karmic cycles here. So now you're ready to step into a new place, okay? Build new things. Whether you want to go back to one of these people or you truly want new love, if you're already in a new relationship, who knows? Um, but I really feel like, especially these two past lovers, um, but this is more of a collective energy coming through. I feel like it, it is coming through with a little bit of a specific person, um, but I feel like it's more of a general thing. I feel like everyone is so happy to see you thrive and they really believe in your potential and they see you as someone very solid and stable and you're truly getting into a new place in your life and they're super proud of you. So, man, you got good exes. <laughs> you got a really sweet good exes. I love that uh, for you. And I just feel like everyone admires you a lot. Everyone admires you a lot. Um, and they just wish you all the best. Truly. Even this most recent person. They're like... Um, they, they have you in really hard regard. And even though they do want you back. And they would love to give this another shot. Um, maybe this was truly just a fling for you. And it was truly something casual. And they caught feelings. Could have been that. Um, but even with this more recent energy. They... They are really admiring you and they wish you all the best. So everyone wishes you the best. That is great. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Aristurus, I hope you enjoy this. It was a little bit of a different reading, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you needed to be reminded of your power, of your potential, of the changes that you've made. Maybe specifically, maybe this person is coming through in this reading specifically for a reason, you know, to remind you, who were you then? And look at your progress. Who are you now? 
especially if this was a really while well back um maybe you have transformed a lot maybe you have changed a lot and you should be proud of yourself for that okay just like these people are so yeah and also try to see where you uh, the things that you can be grateful for in your life right now where is your good luck because i feel like you have a lot of things that you can be proud of and that you can you can feel the magic in your life right now. You can feel the love. You can feel the blessings. It is just a matter of you looking at them, of you seeing them, of you uh, searching for them. Okay. So with that being said, <laughs> Aries Taurus, this is what I have for you. I really hope it resonated. I hope it helped somehow. Um, if it did, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash the button for me and to subscribe if you haven't already. I would really love to have it here. And if you want to dive deeper into any of this, um you can check out my prior readings the link is going to be down below uh and you can also check out my patreon for weekly messages okay so with that being said i love it very much i wish you the best and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye